Hello guys, what's up? It's so nice to see you here. My name is Martino and today we're talking about what is the difference between the pulse and the rhythm. Let's start. Intro. So the difference between the pulse and the rhythm is huge and you really want to understand the differences between the two in order to play music well, to play the saxophone well, okay? I'm gonna try to explain this in less than three minutes or slightly more. Let's see, start the clock right now. Boom, over here. So firstly, let's analyze the pulse. What is the pulse? So I want you to visualize this for a second. I want you to visualize your heart, your heartbeat, okay? Now the speed of the heartbeat will change according to what you do throughout the day, whether you sleep or you run, you exercise or you study, whatever, okay? So if you're sleeping at night, the, the speed of the heartbeat will be really slow because you're not doing much. It will be something like dun dun, dun kum, kum kum, or so, okay? But on the other hand, if you're exercising, if let's say you're running, okay, it'll be much faster. Dun kung, kung kung, kung kung, or so. So music is exactly the same. Whether the piece is slow or fast, the pulse will always be constant as your heartbeat. You know, the heartbeat is always constant, whether it's slow or fast. If it's not constant, then something's happening with the heart and you need to go to the doctor. Okay, make sense? Now, what is rhythm okay now rhythm let's picture the rhythm as your limbs as your arms as your legs you know as your as your head that can move independently from the heart okay so but you need the pulse in order to drive the rhythm in the right place okay let's do something i'm gonna play you a song i'm gonna play take five and i'm gonna chop it up in different um, sections if you take the original recording from take five uh paul desmond and they brew back the tempo is roughly 168 bpm <laughs> Okay, so this is the pulse of the song. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play the rhythm of take five separately and the notes of take five separately. Okay, so you can hear the difference and then uh, we can um, analyze it together. Okay, so if I only play actually, if I only play the rhythm from take five with the beat, okay, it'll be something like this. One, two, three. That's just the rhythm, it's not really the melody, okay? If I only play the notes without the rhythm, okay, it'll be like this. You can kind of recognize the, 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 the melody, but it's not there yet, okay? If we put uh, both together, okay, so beat, rhythm, and notes, we actually get the proper song, okay? One, two, three. Make sense? Okay. So remember that the tempo is the one that is constant and is the underlining force of any song, whether it's a, a piece from Australia or from India. Every song has its own pulse, okay? Then it can change throughout the, the song, can go faster, can go slower, but as always, constant, okay? And then on top of that, we throw in the rhythm with the notes to create melodies. So melodies essentially are rhythm plus notes. Make sense? Same as, as in take five. Okay. That's it, okay? So I don't know if I made it on time before the three minutes or not, probably slightly more, but that's that's essentially what the difference is, okay? So uh, what you can do to improve this is you just play any song that you like, you know, on Spotify or whatever it is, okay? And you try to tap along to it, okay? You try to find the, the pulse, you know? Try to find the heartbeat of, of, the, of the pulse. That's a very important thing. And then you can also, while well, you can record yourself, you know, take your phone and record yourself try to 
um, tap along with the with the song or just tap along with the metronome. I've done a video that I'm gonna link here below, which is called how to play with the metronome, and um, you can watch that if you need to, you know, if you if you're struggling to play with the metronome. Anyway, we're done. Um, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Thank you.